So as some of you know, I've already done an unboxing on this laptop, talked about my first impressions, uh, internals, the ports, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna go through that again. But I do wanna talk about one of the issues I had during that unboxing. The touchpad, the beautiful, spacious, glass touchpad that comes on the Dell XPS 15 has an issue, a quality control issue. And I thought originally it only pertained to my unit. The issue is that the space between the touchpad and the base of the laptop is too much. Like there's a big gap. And every time you move your finger slightly on the touchpad, every once in a while, you start to hear little clicks. You're not registering the click and you're not seeing a menu pop up on your screen or an icon open up, but you hear a click that shouldn't be present. Now, if you're someone who's using this laptop all day long or even for a couple of hours, that little click is gonna drive you nuts. The best way to explain it is that the spacing between the touchpad and the base of the laptop feels like a diving board. In fact, one of you in the comment section actually said you opened up the laptop and, and screwed the touchpad closer to the base. Now this is something a new user shouldn't have to do. So if your unit has this issue, send it back. And if it comes back with the same issue, send it back again. Because me personally, I'd rather give birth to triplets than deal with this type of experience. The rest of this laptop is pretty much awesome. Speakers, I did have some popping sounds originally when I unboxed this and played with it afterwards, but there was a Dell BIOS update that took that problem away. The speakers are still exceptional, the best on a Windows laptop. Not as good as the MacBook Pros, but still very good overall. The build quality, the experience, the way it feels, it's just a well put together laptop. The display is also exceptional. This is the 1920 by 1200, 16 by 10 IPS matte display. The color accuracy and the brightness is fantastic. However, if you are doing some more content creation or creative work, I really do suggest going out and getting the 4K model instead. Now Dell has managed to squeeze a tiny little webcam into the infinity edge bezels of the display and it's not great. Okay, this is in line with most laptops. You're not getting Surface Book webcam quality. But one of the things that really shocked me about this laptop is definitely the battery life, like over 12 hours of use with this kind of horsepower, especially considering the battery size is not maxed out at 99 watt hours, but only at 86. Now performance is super interesting. As you guys know, I have the i7 eight core variant, the 10875H paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the GTX 1650 Ti. And surprisingly, this thing could actually game quite well. It's not gonna play the AAA titles on super high settings, but I was able to play Overwatch on Ultra, get fantastic frame rates. Same with Call of Duty Modern Warfare if I drop things down to normal. And of course, playing games like Valorant is easy for this laptop. But when it comes to actual work, this laptop is weird because what happens is you'll get these quick, fast, bursty clock speeds and it'll push the CPU temps all the way up to 99 or 100 degrees. And then after a while, it will severely power limit it to reduce the heat, sometimes dropping the CPU clock speeds below base clock. And this is only if you're pushing the CPU and GPU at the same time. So when it came to actual work, Laptops like the MacBook Pro 16 from last year, the Razer Blade 15 Advanced, did a better job than this one. Is that a bad thing? No, this is a much thinner laptop and its cooling capabilities are very limited in a chassis this thin. So what Dell is doing is prioritizing longevity over performance. Even if you have it on the ultra performance setting, this thing will still power throttle to keep things cool and reduce those clock speeds. Fan noise is also fantastic on this. It doesn't get super loud. The max I can get these fans to go up to is about 51 to 52 decibels, which is in line with the Surface Book 3. Now I'm gonna send this laptop back because I would rather live with my mother-in-law than continue using the touchpad in this current situation. Actually, I take that back. I don't think there's any situation where I'd want to live with my mother-in-law. But besides the touchpad, everything else about this laptop is fantastic. It's size, it's speakers, it's battery life. Yes, it's not the fastest 15 inch ultra portable on the market. It does well in gaming, but it suffers when it comes to actual workflow, even losing out to the MacBook Pro 16 from last year. But you have to remember, this is also cheaper. So you have to kind of balance value to dollar and ask what exactly is worth it to you. Anyways, that wraps up my review on the Dell XPS 15. 
Dell XPS 17 will be in the studio soon, so drop your questions for that. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.